This is Mountain Harbor uh, Hostel and Bed and Breakfast. Just coming out the little path. You got a little, little river or such coming through. Back in there, you might be able to see this. It's actually quite a few tent sites, and they actually provide a porta john back in the back area there where all the tent sites are. Somewhere I do have a bunk or, or whatever this, for this evening. I'm still here early, so I don't know how everything's going to work with me getting here uh, <laughs> before 8 o'clock in the morning. I guess we'll walk over here. At least I'll kind of be out of the, the weather and everything. I guess they got a little store and stuff. Uh, I guess we'll see how things go, but this is it. Uh, it's kind of nice. I'll uh, I'll try and do another video of the place later, but yeah, this is pretty cool. Got a little fire pit area and stuff over there. In the water. Yep. Oh, I guess that's the kind of eating area. I guess that's that's their uh, version of the food truck uh, trailer. That's kind of cool. I heard that's kind of how they handle dinners and stuff. So, I guess I may just set my pack down here, and uh, we'll talk with you later. Bye. All right, so here's the inside for the breakfast that I just ate. This is about the most incredible breakfast I had. Everybody's still sitting around eating. I'm gonna go outside. Gotta get bed and breakfast upstairs. Oh. Table full of people. Wait, the top of the plane or the really? Yeah. Kinda, then, um, kinda walk out quickly. <clears throat> a lot of people to feel the uncomfortable recording while I'm walking by, so I walk quickly. But when you're seeing people outside eating, they like said the food was incredible. I didn't even get to taste everything that yeah, you know, there was just so much that was there. But they had uh, potatoes, which were uh, like a, a maple bacon. And those were really good. And uh, the French toast, I think that was like the best part. Uh, French toast was like a maple walnut syrup. Then had a couple different quiches and different stuff. I think they had something called a, a tomato pie which is actually really good that uh, definitely had like a, an Italian uh, flavor and such to it um, some of the people were saying something about they're looking to uh, probably get ready to put a cook out, a cookbook together because everybody's always asking about all their their recipes and stuff and their food is good and like I said this is the uh, Mountain Harbor bread and breakfast slash hostel up at the house there it's the bed and breakfast it's got a couple rooms and then this is down at the bottom here is where the, the hostel portion is <coughs> and you can see there's a big sitting area a couple they got a couple TVs set up and everything come here there's the, the, the food truck it's actually a trailer but they cook up some good burgers and stuff in the evening. So in the evening you can get a meal there. But inside you got coffees and everything. Come upstairs. And you got a couple bunks and stuff. Make sure nobody was still in here sleeping. And it even has a, a loft. So yeah, this was uh, this was a nice day yesterday in, from the rain. Uh, really nice hostel, uh, and definitely the best food on the AT, no doubt. So today, I think we just got uh, overcast and clouds. Very small chance of rain. Some. Uh, Try and push, uh, see if I can get 15 or 16 miles in today. 
I really have no clue what's... I haven't even looked far enough ahead really to see what's out that far. I just don't want to try and cover a few miles to get there. But this is it. I figured I'd put a little video together. I took a zero here yesterday. And uh, I said it was. It turned out really nice. <clears throat> when I got here, the water wasn't flowing this much. And even last night, it was flowing more. So it's, uh, it's slowing back down a little bit. Now that the rain has stopped. <clears throat> All right. We will talk to you later. Bye. Good morning. It's uh, Tuesday, May 24th. Just left uh, Mountain Harbor Hostel. That was a that was a great place to stay. It just happened to work out that it rained, so it got me off the trail for the day. Give me a little rest, but it was a great stay. So now I'm back on the trail. Uh, like I've seen in the other video, I'm a Try and do about 15 or so today. A couple people were slack packing uh, 14, which was a fine number. But as much as I liked staying down there, I don't want to keep staying. Any time you stay someplace too long, all you're doing is spending money. So it's nice to get back out. The rain has passed for the moment. It's just supposed to be uh, pretty much cloudy today. Uh, and that's about it. So, let me turn around, show you the trail. That's what we got for the moment. We'll see how it goes. I think I got a little bit of a climb this morning. And then the rest is uh, moderate up and down stuff. And I think even uh, the one climb I do got today, I don't think it's a whole lot anyways. I'm shooting to uh, to get to the dam side of Watuga, however you say that, lake, which is about 37 miles by Thursday, about noon. I'm going to get picked up. Uh... Probably do a little slack pack Friday with my bloodhound. See how he does. Because I think uh, I'm going to bring him out for a couple weeks. Let him, let him go for you know, two, three weeks. And bring him out here for a bit. I think it'll be fun. Uh, he's four years old and he got plenty of energy. So, got all of his pack and stuff and was having his last few little items got picked up yesterday and such and then uh, Saturday I just, I'm gonna head down to Hillsville where they just got a huge flea market with lots of you know ranging from new stuff to antiques to old old hand tools and stuff which I think that stuff's cool um, been there before <coughs> memorial day is the their largest in hillsville virginia so uh i'm gonna go do that saturday and then get back on sunday so hopefully the only day i'm i'm really off is just uh just saturday because unfortunately as many of you know with the injury and, and getting off and stuff i had to get off for three and a half weeks and stuff and uh, I was hoping to you know get up there by around the first of September now it's you know more towards the end of September to get to Katahdin so I was trying to uh, knock this out the best I can boy they're coming back down to the road already it's starting to look like this is wrapping right around the backside of the 
<laughs> of the hostel almost. Because this road dies into the road that I was just walking up to to get back on a trail. And there's the mark. So. And the trail goes on and off down into the woods. So. All right. I will talk with you guys later. Bye. All right. Another update. Coming on down the trail. There it is. 400 miles so far just a little bit up the way is Jones Falls I'd probably take a short break and eat a little something there but that's kind of nice so far 400 miles in a lot more to go I'll talk to you later bye so here we are at Jones Falls. There's point one off your trail. Nice little detour. I'm gonna kind of walk down here. There's a little spot you can get down there by the water. <laughs> Look at that. Coming right on down. Trying to see if I can take my pack off. Sorry for all the movement here. Just look at that. I'm going to get a little closer. Oops, sorry. There's the warning sign. You always got to have those. Let's see here. It is pretty nice. All right. We'll talk with you later. I was kind of hoping there's a spot. Maybe you can... Kind of put your feet and stuff in, but <laughs> not a very good one. There's somebody way up there. They were just waving. Let's see if I can get him. Right up there in the blue shirt. I heard you can climb up there. So, not sure. All right, we'll talk with you later. Bye. So here we are at Mountaineer Fall. Might take a little walk up uh, part way there. Take a look at that. Let's see what that looks like. We can maybe walk up a little bit here. Uh, no, it's probably better off over there. There's you can see the fall from here. Nice creek to coming down across. They got a bridge. A couple people been hiking with the last couple miles. But uh, yep, that's pretty nice. Water just flowing through. No. The Laurel Forks right there. This is all headed towards the falls. So. All right, I will talk with you uh, later. Bye. So this is uh, a little bit further down after crossing that bridge. I guess the trail kind of runs along with the water for a bit. I will check back with you later. This is the nice part about uh, being out here on the trail. Seeing the sights, hearing the water rushing. 
It is nice out here. Trail goes up from here. So I don't know if I'll come back to the water or not. But this was pretty cool. We'll see ya.